Okay, I'm Geodav and this video what we're going to do is take the simple very basic turret that I created in Blender and bring it in so we can use it in game. Now as you can see I've done this already. So yeah it's sitting up a little bit but never mind. That's just tweaks. Now <coughs> excuse me what I'm not going to do is sit here and go through every single little thing that you have to do uh, the reason for this is the turrets as such are classed as vehicles now if you've done any of the vehicles you know how long these things take okay so I'm just going to do a quick run through of what you need to do in the editor yeah and then quick run through what you need to do, need on the code and show you that the, the simple fact that it does work now what this involves is obviously you've imported your mesh all right created a simple one box physics asset all right quick look at that there you go it's a box fine and if i click on the box I have give it a simple material vehicle asset uh, physics material which is just a copy in the end of the uh, <coughs> the scorpion okay the scorpion physics asset well physics material now quick look at the actual mesh uh, what we got here right very simple three bones Turret base, turret ball, turret fire. Yeah. Not forgetting, we don't material applied. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the other things being the per poly collision. Now this is relatively small. I'm not prepped here at all. Just taking the time that I've got to have a quick record of the video. Now you got your poly per per poly collision bones which is a turret base add to the parent per poly is a turret ball okay now we don't need the one for the fire because that's not got anything skin to it so what else do we need on the mesh well obviously you need your sockets and in our case I've kept it to the bare minimum we have the BC turret fire BC turret view damage smoke and vehicle death Okay, that's the bare minimum. Now, I'm just flying through this as quick as I can for the simple reason all, all these turrets are are vehicles without wheels. So anything you do for a vehicle, you do for these as well. And my vehicle tutorials, most likely the UT3 ones go into depth a bit more what my UDK ones because I take time on them uh, your materials here we go your, your blue your blue normal burnout normal red normal red burnout uh, your spawns and your well these are material instant constants and this is material instant constant time variable Okay, watch the, if you're not too sure about these, watch the vehicle tutorials. Say, same again for your physics materials or physical materials. Whether we actually need these, mm, not too sure. All right, the, the main one you're going to be interested in is the actual anim tree. So let's open the anim tree. And you can't see nothing because I've kept it to the absolute bare minimum. Okay. So if we click on the almond tree. Now obviously I've gone in and I've added my skeletal control chains. Right, in this case being the turret base for the, the main one and the turret ball. Okay. So down here say, same with any other anim tree. Your preview mesh, you've got to add that in because otherwise you don't get the bone names. 
And that's pretty much on that. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to bother with the vehicle deaths and all the rest of it. Uh, that's... I won't say so much the advanced stuff, but it's exactly the same as the vehicles. And I'll just be repeating myself left, right and centre. The only thing we really, really need here is to have a, a quick look at the UT Scale Control Turret Constraint. Now, I use UT Code because I don't like reinventing the wheel and I can't code anyway. So, I make sure that whilst using the UT code, I also use the UT versions of whatever comes in the ANIM tree. Okay, you got all your nodes. You've got all these, you've got the UDK versions and the UT versions. Same for the skeletal controls. Up oh, there, UDK skeletal control turret constrained. Don't want that. I use the... Uh, it is in here somewhere, there we go, the UT version. Okay, but far far as I'm aware, the UDK ones give the same sort of thing. Okay, so what do we do in here? Now, because I don't want this ball to be rotating all the way around and for you to fire backwards and all the rest of it, we have to constrain this bone. Okay? Now, to do this, you go, have your control selected, or your node, and under constraint, constraint pitch, your roll, and you've got your max min settings. Now, from, for the yaw, I've put plus 90, minus 90, for the pitch, plus 90, minus 45, so I can go all the way up, but only 45 down. Okay, this is degrees, yeah, and on the roll constraint, I've left that at zero because we don't really want it to roll. Now, other things that you may be interested in is fix when firing, you can set that if you wish, and you can change your, if you, your turret's rotating to, too fast, you can change that, and that, all little uh, extra little bits right, associated to seat index that might be helpful for other vehicles I'll have to look into that your constraints step now oh, I've got no idea adjustments yes we like to apply rotation uh, translation no rotation you can add rotation but that's oh as a static turret, not really necessary. Okay. Uh, vehicle turrets, yes. Watch the vehicle. Uh, well, we'll probably end up having to do something with this in the advanced turret. Uh, obviously, your controller name is important. BC turret, your constraint. Okay. So, that is pro pretty much everything that you need in the editor for a very very basic turret yeah very simple I won't say quick because vehicles are never quick to do right so once you've got all that set up all right, you need to go into for your code now you're gonna look at this and go oh my giddy ant where has he got all this stuff from well, I'll be very honest on this matter. I went to, not there. Oh, where are we? Where are we? I did have it here a moment ago. Here we go. The UT3 script source code 1.5. Now, I'll be honest, we shouldn't really be doing this. Because it's not part of the UDK code. But... I'm lazy, I cheat, and I've modded UT3, and yeah, okay. It gives you an idea what you want to be doing. Now, the code that I use, approximate, is if you go into the UT game content classes, and if you go down, and down, and down, and down, and down, and down, you will find 
UT shield turret. Now if we just open this one up, yes you will see it extends from the vehicle, I'll go on to that in a minute. We've got these bits here, and you're like, hmm, what's all that about? I'm not going to deal with it because as if you, when I show you my code, there's nothing there. We've just got the default properties. Okay, so forget all that. I'll go. I'll try to go into that in the advanced one because I want to be using something along here. I'll, I'll show you the other stuff in a minute where for the advanced stuff looks quite Gucci. But in your default properties, yet again, you've got all, all this stuff here, uh, that lot there, you know, your, your skeletal mesh stuff, your anim sets if you have anims, your physics asset, your anim tree, skeletal mesh, and your vehicle effects, your spawn materials, team materials, burnout materials, sounds if you've got sounds, your HUD coordinates, I don't think that really applies much with UDK, and your collision sound. Okay, let's have a look at the, if we go up here, and you, we want to have a, a look at UT vehicle track turret base. That's in the UT game classes. And we'll dig out the other turret. Let's go all the way down here, somewhere down here. Ooh, do, 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 do. Right, there's the track turret base. Now, if you look at this, uh, if you're a non-coder, you'll go, oh my god, as I did, because I can't code. But basically, all this is, is some extra information being f passed to and from Kismet, because on the UT turrets, or the UT3 turrets, they could move from side to side. Okay? And... We don't really need this. As you can see, a lot of it is being set to super, which means it's overriding stuff that's already in, if we go into the UT vehicle. Okay, so we don't really need that. You can have a look at this. It might give you an idea of uh, a few of the tricks you can do. The other one that I want to show, which... If I can find it, uh, why can't I find it? Where the heck is it? There's something here that I was wanting to show. Or was it in there? Because I couldn't find it. And it, I found that one initially, and it wasn't the one that I was wanting. Uh, t -t 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 -t, there it is. Now, if you look in here, you'll see even more stuff. Template for beam to God's truth. What's all this? Posting an tree. Oh no. Replicating vehicle impact effects. Muzzle flash locations. Fire effects. Camera start. All sorts of sound things. And all sorts of stuff like that. I'll try to go through that in a separate advanced system. Just so you know that all you need is the very, very basic. Uh, you don't need anything in there just to get it working. But you do need your skeletal mesh. I can't remember why I've edited that out. but uh, So you just need your skeletal mesh stuff, your collision cylinder, your materials, your effects. I mean, this effect, you know, is purely what is it that's the uh, muzzle flash yeah happy with that because i'm using the manta gun as an example but the main things that you need to go into here is obviously your gun class make sure you've got a gun class your gun socket that's where you fire from uh turret prefix you don't need in this case your turret control bc turret your constraint yes you need that because otherwise it doesn't work uh, your camera tag obviously socket your gun pivot points where it turns round you can edit the the height of the camera the seat being visible in this case no we don't want the player to 
to be visible when he enters the vehicle well enters the turret uh, you got your seat bone seat offset seat rotation if you need to all right we'll go into that in the net in the other one so uh, as a quick finish off here what we're going to do is obviously if you've never done this before please watch the vehicle videos to get the uh, the turret in the game go into your actors class vehicles and then you'll see the vehicle factory oh that's what I forgot just in case you're watching this because it's a vehicle you don't put vehicles into the maps as such okay you put vehicle factories and it's the exact same for the turret you need a vehicle factory for the turret okay skeletal mesh this is probably why it's sitting up a little bit because of the translation problems uh, making sure your vehicle class points to the correct one now a quick in here okay so you you select your vehicle factory you can drag and drop right click and you add a vehicle factory and then not forgetting get out of the way you rebuild rebuild your map you save it and then we go play from here so we're jumping yes you noticed it drop down very clever okay so what we do is go up to it now normally you get the vehicle sign I don't know why it's not working on this but I press E and yes I'm in the vehicle you can see me turret and it goes bang 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 not very good and if you notice when I turn turn slowly it stops the turret stops and in the uh, the crosshairs well more of a loop your little targeting circle in the middle changes which means you've gone out you can't fire there okay so it, it works it's basic and that's it okay so I'll leave it at that uh, obviously took too long anyway come on there we go and in the future I hope to be doing a more advanced tutorial on vi on stationary turrets but this is a b pretty much the straight basic stuff just to get you up and running okay then see you soon bye bye now